Hi, folks. This is Colin Richards, president and founder of Lord & Richards, and I'm thrilled to be talking to you today in this particular episode of Lord & Richards about how savers are finally getting rewarded. Savers are finally getting rewarded. You know, many of our clients, many of the people we talk to in the community are really concerned that events out of their control are going to damage or harm their wealth and especially their retirement. So what we do every day is we help you build a plan to achieve financial independence and enjoy retirement without fear and worry. We do that from a biblical point of view. And the reason we love to do that is we help you do amazing things with the bountiful resources that God has placed at your disposal. One of the important steps that you need to take is finding a way to get your money safe and still have growth at the same time. Safety and growth on the same dollar at the same time. You say, well, that sounds like a fantasy, Colin. Well, it's not, and we've been doing it for our clients for many, many years. First of all, it doesn't start with putting all your eggs in one basket, but it does start with making sure your basket isn't full of holes. You know, I was reading an article this week that said that treasury yields are now 4% or higher for maturities of just one to five years and just under 4% at six months. That's really amazing. Would have been hard to predict just a couple years ago that we'd ever see interest rates like this. So they're really easy to get. You can get them through treasury money market funds and banks are being forced to compete with it. And so I encourage you with your savings, if you've got some money that you can uh, leave alone for six months or so, that might be a good place to park it to get far better interest than we used to. Of course, inflation right now is now over um, some of the highest numbers we've seen in generations, right? We're seeing eight plus percent inflation. So banks are trying to compete with this to get the business of savers like you. But what we've learned is they're now doing it through their brokerage channel, their investment side, right? So you've got the banking side, you're checking your savings, your money market. But banks, in order to compete, are offering CDs that compete with these treasury rates, and they're doing it on the brokerage side. But here's the thing. Banks aren't offering this to their longtime loyal customers. You probably haven't gotten anything in the mail from your bank that said, hey, come on over to us, and you can get a CD that for multiple years or just a short period will pay you 4% or more. It's not being advertised because loyal customers are still paying close to 0%, and banks are using this as a tease to bring over new business. So always looking for that new business those banks are. And one of the challenges then is if you do pursue one of these CDs, they can be called. That means that they can terminate their obligation to you, give you your money back, and no longer have to pay that interest when rates finally drop and when the environment becomes less of a concern. So the question I'm asking is, is there a way you can continue to take advantage of these high rates for savers when the Fed eventually re reverses course and drops those rates? The answer is a resounding yes. Let me explain. There are two worlds where you can protect your savings and still get growth. Whether you like it or not, these are the two worlds. Outside of the U.S. Treasury, banks and insurance companies. Banks and insurance companies. Those are the two worlds that will actually guarantee you won't lose your money and have a strong record. You say, well, I understand banks, CDs, savings accounts, and so forth, but what does the insurance world offer? Well, there's a lot of variations, but let's face it, insurance companies are also competing for your money. And you don't actually have to go out and buy an insurance policy with a death benefit on your life in order to take advantage of it. Within the insurance world, there's a very popular strategy that has seen incredible amounts of money flow into it over the last decade, and it's based on a boring old insurance product called a fixed annuity. Now, maybe you're saying, Colin, time out right there. I've heard it. All annuities are bad. Well, first of all, whenever you hear all of some type of financial tool is bad, you're already getting a little suspicious that whoever delivered you that information did not have your best interest at heart, but theirs. As a fiduciary, you want to seek out fiduciaries who will put your interest above their own and will have access to the entire universe of financial tools without worrying about those kinds of biases. What a fixed annuity is, really, it's a competitor issued by an insurance company to try to attract money that you want to keep safe and sound and learn earn a low guaranteed rate of return. 
So that's all it is. A fixed annuity promises protection of principal over a length of time that you have your money there, and it offers low guaranteed interest. Oh, and one thing annuities don't uh, do that you won't be able to do in banks and CDs is annuities will actually allow you to withdraw money annually, potentially, and to get money that will never run out over your lifetime. They can provide lifetime income. But regardless of whether or not you ever use those features, what an annuity can do is protect your principal and offer a low guaranteed rate. You say, well, why not just stick with a bank? I understand CDs better than those types of tools. Well, here's something interesting. If you're willing to part with your guaranteed interest, things can get very exciting. The fixed annuity company will take your low guaranteed in interest, leaving your principal safe and sound outside of the market, and they will take your interest and invest it in highly leveraged financial tools called options. You say, that sounds risky, Colin. Well, here's the key. Your principal isn't in involved. It's over here, safe and sound, outside of the market. And the annuity company will take your interest and leverage it to try to turn it into more. And it can potentially grow to many times what your original promised interest rate was. Options are a way that the market has provided to earn a potentially high multiple on your money. But beware, normally that money is at risk of complete loss if the market doesn't cooperate. Well, again, you might be saying, well, Colin, I don't want to lose my retirement savings. Remember, your principal is safe and sound and uninvolved in the purchase of the options. Just your low guaranteed interest is taken and leveraged to try to make more. So the fixed annuity company never puts your principal at risk in the market. It's safe and sound in the principal protected annuity. Only your interest is taken and, if I can use this word, gambled, if I can say that, in the options market, and the potential is there to earn more, sometimes a lot more, than your original interest. Now here's the cool part. If that same market goes down, your principal has been safe all along, never put into that market, and so only your interest is lost for that time period, typically a year. So you lose your low guaranteed interest in the effort to earn more. You say, well, Colin, does this work? Well, over time, we typically see a multiple beyond your original interest that can be quite attractive and competitive when you consider that safe money typically doesn't grow very well. This could be a wise use of money in your portfolio. If you have some money, you can afford to let sit and grow and be protected, taking only a portion out each year to live on for income. And here's the cool part. When you do earn extra interest in the market, it's applied to your principal, locked in safe and sound, and it's never able to be lost again. So each year you compound. At Lord & Richards, we call this the power of principal protected indexing. Here it is again, the power of principal protected indexing. The indexing describes the strategy where you take your low guaranteed interest and you leverage it to try to earn more. And it's a strategy our clients are using right now to protect and grow their nest eggs right through the middle of this bear market. Wouldn't it be nice to go to bed at night, pillow your head, and know that your money was safe from market risk? So this may be a wise strategy as part of an overall comprehensive plan. But remember, a comprehensive plan doesn't just try to protect your money. It's designed to grow it. It's designed to protect you from taxes, designed to help you plan through healthcare emergencies, designed to help you plan for the future, such as your legacy, and of course, designed to make sure you never run out of money before you run out of life. This is a process we call at Lord & Richards a financial independence review. And it's a complimentary set of meetings that we would love to enjoy sitting down and visiting with you, learning about your goals and helping you devise that comprehensive plan. It just starts with a simple phone call.